captivating and incredibly interesting story called World of Warships in 2022 is starting with update 0.11.0. My name is Dasha, and I'm going to tell you about the new features and improvements in our game that the new year will begin with. They include Pan-Asian cruisers, super ships in random battles, and the return of asymmetric battles. Watch our review to get all the details. Asian cruisers will be the first ships to arrive in early access in the new year. Their Silk Dawn permanent camouflage looks great with the updated Dragon Port in the background. Chongqing, Ramat, Champong, Harbin, Saizhong, and Jinan will reinforce the Pan Asian fleet. All these newcomers are light cruisers armed with low caliber guns. But it doesn't mean that one can call Pan Asian artillery weak. The low caliber of their guns is offset with a high firing rate. Another important feature of Pan-Asian light cruisers is their trademark torpedoes. Deep water, low visibility torpedoes with decent speed parameters. The newcomers come equipped with a good set of consumables that gets even better as the ship tier increases. For example, all the new ships have smoke generator with a fast cooldown. At Tier 6, you'll get defensive AA fire in addition to smoke generator and then torpedo reload booster at Tier 7. Cruiser Sejong and Jinan, in addition to the aforementioned consumables, also have repair party at their disposal. By completing special combat missions, you'll be able to not only add Tier 5 and 7 Pan-Asian cruisers to your port collection, but also earn Pan-Asian tokens. You'll be able to exchange this temporary resource for useful game items in the armory. These include sequentially available bundles holding two more cruisers, Harbin and Ramet. Moreover, the bundles also drop Silk Dawn permanent camouflages for Pan-Asian cruisers from Tier 7 through Tier 10. Players who manage to get all the sequentially available bundles will be able to get Tier 10 Jin Nun in exchange for doubloons. Pan-Asian tokens can be obtained by completing combat missions from free armory bundles and in exchange for community tokens. By the way, after completing the combat missions, you'll have enough tokens to get Cruiser Ramit and a permanent camouflage for Champong. You'll be able to get even more tokens from random bundles that are available in exchange for doubloons. These bundles also drop Tier 9 Cruiser Sejong. 2022 will be an important year for the development of super ships in our game. In update 0.11.0, you'll be able to deploy these ships in random battles in addition to co-op and ranked battles. Yes, Captain, you heard it right. Your favorite super ships. Hanover, Satsuma, Zorki, Conde, Yamagiri, and Annapolis will demonstrate their power and special combat mechanics in random battles in update 0.11.0. This is a highly important step for testing these ships, and we hope that they will soon become a full-fledged part of our game. Don't forget to share your opinions about the super ships on all of our social platforms and in the comments section under this video. A useful bit of intel, you can rent the ships with the super prefix by picking up random bundles in the armory. Asymmetric battles will return to the game in update 0.11.0. The mode features two numerically uneven teams of ships. We've changed the format of the mode since its last appearance. Now a team of Tier 7 and Tier 8 ships will fight against a team comprising Tier 9 and 10 ships. There can be 6 to 8 Tier 9 and 10 ships in one team, and 9 to 12 Tier 7 and 8 ships in the other team. If you want to play ships of higher tiers, you'll need the Battle Token Temporary Resource. You can earn these tokens by playing Tier 7 and 8 ships in asymmetric battles. Your favorite brawl format will also return in update 0.11.0. The 7th and 8th brawls are coming up. The 7th brawl will meet you with 3 versus 3 battles playing Tier 5 ships. A restriction of no more than 2 ships of the same type per team is in place. As for the 8th brawl, you'll have to stand at the helm of your favorite Tier 7 ship and fight in a 2 versus 2 format. Only one battleship is allowed per team. The battles will be played on familiar maps with a reduced game area in the Domination Mode. 
There is one more useful new feature that can noticeably improve the performance of our game. In the update prior to the last one, we added support to AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. This technology allows us to greatly improve the frame rate for average rigs with 2K and 4K monitors. This new spatial scaling algorithm is supported by the majority of graphics processing units. Look for detailed information about all the new features and changes in Update 0.11.0 on our website. My name is Dasha Perova, and I congratulate you upon the arrival of the new year, 2022, and wish you victories in battles and a great mood. See you soon, Captain.